It's been two years since that landmark Brereton report was handed down into alleged war crimes committed by Australian forces during the Afghanistan war. And uh, you'll recall that shortly after that, the Chief of Defence moved to strip the meritorious unit citation from members of the Special Operations Task Group. That was later overturned by the then Defence Minister. But in recent days, it's emerged that the Chief of Defence has again moved... Uh, uh, this time to uh, ask senior officers and junior officers who were in command of various forces who are alleged to have committed uh, war crimes to justify why they should keep their own personal uh, medals for distinguished or conspicuous service. This has angered elite soldiers and specifically the SAS Association, the Commando Association and even the RSL. All three have come together in a unprecedented step to demand that the Albanese government pull the Defence Chief into line and reverse this decision at least until the court processes have run their course. Let's hear from the SAS Association. They're accusations, they're not facts, they're yet to be tested. The defendants need an opportunity to put their side uh, of events to a proper process. Then the truth will be known. Only then do you punish people. So what's been the response from Defence, Andrew? Yeah, a statement given to the ABC, uh, Ros, says that the CDF is considering the command and accountability of current and former serving ADF members who held command positions at various ranges of ranks during the periods that these alleged offences occurred. It says this statement that the CDF is committed to an evidence-based implementation of that Brereton report and the recommendations that came from it and that the CDF is supporting the work of the Office of the Special investigator and the Australian Federal Police. So no back down from the CDF as yet and during the week we saw the Defence Minister asked about this also in question time and at this stage it appears he is giving his support to the Chief of Defence. Andrew, thank you.